Now this is a 360 degree pan and tilt outdoor security camera that comes with a solar panel for less than 70 great British pounds. Oh, and it's truly wireless. This is the Anran Q1 Max, a truly wireless HD outdoor security camera with solar panel to offer you forever power. And at time of filming this video, it's listed at £69.81. pence. There is a link in the video description down below. So what do I mean when I say truly wireless? Does the word truly here imply that some others are false? Well, there are a lot Trust me, a lot of security cameras listed on Amazon and they state they are wireless. And then when some unsuspecting noob purchases one to find out they need to plug in a power cable, they can get seriously pissed off in the Amazon comments. I mean like really pissed off. Technically the camera is wireless as it doesn't need a network cable, but from an end user's point of view, I can see how this could be misleading people to think that it doesn't need any wires whatsoever, like a battery camera perhaps, or one with a solar panel, just like this. Jokes aside, maybe the industry need to look at wording this better. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. Also, this is not in any way, shape or form a sponsored video at all. And I will always give my honest opinion regardless. But Anran were kind enough to send me this to have a play with. So thank you for supporting small creators such as myself. So what makes this one different from the rest? The specs are fairly standard. More on this later. So why am I showing you this one in particular? Well, apart from the fact that they include a solar panel, Anran are also offering for free seven days cloud storage, apparently with no hidden costs. So I was interested to see what this entails as I haven't seen this with any other brands I've looked at before. But before we do get to look at it, let's start by seeing what we get in the box. When opening the box, the first thing we see is the surveillance sticker for you to display as a visual deterrent. And then some gumph, also known as a user manual. Then we get the solar panel, which measures 17.2 by 11.9 by one centimeters. And believe me, it is super thin and super light and has a good length micro USB cable to connect it directly to the camera. Underneath this, we then have a pack of mounting screws a plastic grommet to fit in the micro USB socket on the camera to keep the water out, a micro USB to type A charging cable, some more screws and a mounting plate. We also get a plastic articulating bracket for the solar panel and then the camera unit itself, which is plastic, but it still has a good solid feel to it. Finally, hidden at the bottom of the box are a couple of screw guides for the camera mount and the solar panel. So the Amazon listing states a five megapixel sensor, which you rarely see companies using nowadays to describe the resolution of the video. However, this translates to ultra HD at 2560 by 1920 and as you would expect it also has two-way audio for you to be able to interact with your serial killer so before we go any further here is what that looks and sounds like It's not a full PTZ camera as the zoom function is digital, but it does pan 360 degrees on a locked axis and tilts 90 degrees. It comes included with the solar panel to charge the built-in lithium ion battery, but can also be charged with the supplied micro USB cable, but you will need to supply your own plug. It has a PIR sensor for motion detection and allows you to set motion detection zones and will connect to your network via 2.4 gigahertz wireless only. I will check if it has any problems with my mixed network during the setup process. You have night vision or you can choose to use color night vision via the built-in spotlights, which no one at Anran seemed to know how bright they were. The listing states it has an IP65 waterproof rating. This is not waterproof. It is, however, water resistant. And that's good because it is absolutely p 
and down right now. Currently, it is only compatible with man's best friend. For me, that's Alexa, but I can imagine this will likely be a considering factor for many people when purchasing, if they're a, a Google person, for example. You can utilize the seven days free cloud storage. I'll be investigating that during setup. Or you can use your own micro SD card, a maximum of 128 gigs. Right, that's all the, the, the headline specs done. Now, onto the fun bit, the setup. The Anran app is available from your app store of choice by searching for Anran, funny that. And once installed, you'll need to sign up for your own account. When done, click on the add device and locate your camera in the list provided. Hold the power button on the camera to wake it up and then hold the reset button to get it ready. The LED on the front will blink red when it's ready to be paired along with the voice prompt from the camera itself. Next, enter your wireless network information. This had no issues connecting to my mixed 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. And then use the camera to read a QR code from your mobile phone. Give the app the permissions it needs to access your network and then it will go off and do its thing. Once connected, you'll need to click through various guides and advice on how best to mount the camera, yada, 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 but then you're all done. Time to mount the thing. I don't think I've yet mentioned this, but this can be mounted either to a wall or a ceiling. And when checking images out on Anran's website, I saw an image which had it mounted on a tree pointing towards the house, which I thought was a novel idea. I always have cameras positioned looking away from my house, so maybe I should mount this this one pointing towards my house. So this is exactly what I did. Although I don't have a tree. I do have wood though. That's what she said. <laughs> Apart from it being cold and raining, mounting the camera was easy peasy, even for a DIY retard like myself. And the solar panel bracket was equally as easy to screw in and then connect to the camera with the supplied micro USB cable. Once all physically connected up, it was back into the warm with the app. Now, as you've seen, the camera is very easy to set up in all aspects. So if you're new to this kind of thing, you should have zero issues. Camera feed loads quick with the default standard definition being set for you, but changing this to five megapixels, I could clearly see an increase in sharpness within the video image. And also doing this didn't seem to affect the speed of the feed. As mentioned, it rotates 360 degrees on a locked axis, but the 90 degrees tilt is purely on the downward axis. This thing, it can't look up, so be sure to mount it high enough to be able to see what you want to see. The overall app experience, although feeling a little basic, is smooth and has all the options you would ever need. All of the menus are responsive and setting up the motion detection, in my opinion, is easier than most as it's done using squares to create your own grid rather than struggling to move little dots around a small screen with fat fingers. I like the ability to be able to play an alarm sound from the camera as well as flash the lights in a strobe effect when motion is detected to confuse your intruder or perhaps incite an illegal rave. Now, the seven day cloud storage, which is offered for free. Sadly, this isn't the case and their listing is very misleading. I confirmed this with Anram and they have stated it is a free seven day trial and I have strongly recommended that they update their listing to reference this. This camera cannot record 24 seven as it's battery powered and will only record based off of your alarm preferences or when you tell it to start recording manually from within the app. The video quality is very good in Ultra HD, so would be ideal if you need to be able to make out people's faces. There are no options for any kind of intelligent detection, such as pet or vehicle, but the app does state that it has humanoid detection built in. Hopefully you're not visited by any extraterrestrials. Linking it with Alexa is quick, but the feed doesn't load particularly fast. How fast? Well, see for yourself. Alexa, show me the garden. So this is under 70 great British pound for a pan and tilt camera with solar panel. Is it really worth it? Researching other cameras with the same specs, function and form, and those including a solar panel, then the Anrun Q1 Max sat where I expected it to, to be honest. So I would say that this was a fair price and certainly is worth it in my humble opinion, even without the free seven day cloud storage I was promised. So that's all I have to say about the Anrun Q1 Max. And that's all I have to say about that. If you have any questions about this, then please do let me know in the comments box down below. And whilst you're down there. That's what she said.
please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't, subscribing if you aren't already, and hitting the bell to get notified of when I upload new videos, cause it really helps me out, get sent more free stuff to play with. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Goodbye, internet. Why did the wind shade on me? Like they ashamed on me. I thought what it